Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Aries, Leo and Sagittarius who are currently single, so let's find out together what's coming through for you in the love arena. So guys, the energy is for you, seven of cups, the full, three of swords, six of swords, ten of wands, five of wands, energies for the new person, two of pentacles, seven of swords, two of wands, nine of cups, five of pentacles, the temperance, our focus, page of pentacles, three of wands, the oracle cards, protected by angels, desert passage, first light and journey by moonlight, then we have Dragon's Lair and Intention. Plus, guys, let's pull one Oracle card to answer this question. Have you already met this person? Yes. And so to you, I would say be careful because this individual may have questionable intentions towards you guys. Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Dragon's Lair, Journey by Moonlight, Desert Passage. This person can be someone a little bit arrogant, someone that likes to show off, but they do that with some swag, you know? Nine of Cups, Temperance. They know the game and they love to play it. You started the interaction with a genuine attitude towards this individual, but your past may be your most powerful ally because the Three of Swords, the Six of Swords describes a progression. Some of you have left behind difficult relationships. But if that's the case, we can say that you are more experienced now and that experience should count. The Seven of Cups can be a set of questions and doubts that you can face about this person because they can be elusive, guys, Five of Pentacles. It's a small energy if we think about communication. This person can juggle the interaction with you. They can say something and then they pull back. Then they show up one more time and they disappear. So they can throw at you mixed signals. That's why the full slip of fate can be completely up in the air. Five of Wands, two or more inner conflict. There is something that doesn't feel right. And some of you deep within can already be aware that the Ten of Wands energy is manifesting right in front of you. The last mile for this connection. Desert passage. First light, beginning a new cycle. It's the fall, basically. Big question mark. Why? Because the intentions and the expectations between you and this person can be completely different. And this person can be interested only in one particular goal, if we think about, for example, benefits uh, that can be earned out of a romantic connection. They want to fulfill a desire, let's say, and they are willing to play with you a little bit, the temperance, you know? Cat and mouse, this is the choice of words that is coming to my mind. So you have to be smart and for this very reason, guys, I want to investigate the Seven of Cups for you and I want to investigate the Five of Pentacles for this person. Shaky grounds, shaky foundations for this connection. Strength card, matter of trust, matter of patience, also the opportunity to hold back. This is the energy that you need, guys. If there is no trust, there cannot be love. We know that. Hermit, pay a lot of attention to the intentions of this person. You have to bring a light inside this connection. You can be single, available, interested in a new romantic partnership, but there is something that is off. 
justice, right and fair decision, balance, respect, fairness. This is what you can bring to the table. This is what you can look for in a potential partner. This person, seven swords, big problem. Three of cups. This is an energy about the opportunity to have some fun with someone new, maybe. You can question this opportunity. This person can basically make you that type of offer and this can turn you off. So let's see the five of pentacles because as soon as you kind of cut communication with this individual, they cannot understand why they can be left behind. And so they can try to show up by putting on a different face in order to convince you guys that you should give them another chance. Let's say the benefit of the doubt. I do not know if that can be a wise move. It can be wiser to cut communication with this person for good. Five of Pentacles, the Empress. This can be how they see you. And then a seducer. This person can be a seducer. Someone that is full of themselves. They think to be amazing. They want what they want, how they want it. And if they see you as a, a potential prize, they want the prize, but on their terms. That's why this strength card can become the opportunity to hold back for some of you. Five Swords. This energy makes the point even better than my English guys all about ego for me. Someone that wants to win an argument, prove a point, have the last word only for the pleasure to do so when in reality it doesn't really matter. And the man or the woman in green and red is the bearer of the three of swords energy. For some reason, some of you can see in this person someone from your past and this can be a huge ringing bell. Wheel of Fortune. Time is almost up for this person. The Jigs Up. Ace of Pentacles. This is an offer that can be a major agreement in order to build for the future. The problem is that the Five of Pentacles is not in favor of this type of agreement. Because this person can be good with their words, they can say a lot of things to you, they can make you promises, they can buy you gifts, in order to buy your love, good luck to them, I would say, in this endeavor. Because as soon as you smell troubles, the interaction is over. For once, this can be what you want. But there is a vision in the for once energy for me, soulful partnership. And there cannot be a common vision with someone that can even try to work an angle in order to earn sexual benefits out of a new potential romantic connection. So this situation is destined to be left behind because some of you guys are going to embrace the role of the people that can leave the man or the woman in green and red behind in the five swords. And this is going to be your right and fair decision, the justice, blessed with wisdom, the hermit, and also something extremely positive, the protection of your angels that can guide you towards the realization that this person, this connection, this opportunity is not the one for you. So big encouragement to cut communication with this person as soon as possible, guys. It can be your lucky break and for sure it will pay off moving forward in order for you to find different and better opportunities than this one. So my friends, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.